There are plenty of odd little things to see on Essex Road in Islington, but I submit that none are quite so striking as this. This building, which looks at first glance like nothing less than an Egyptian palace, is the Carlton Cinema. It looks a little down at heel these days, but even so, it's still a magnificent, if not somewhat gaudy, edifice. It was designed by George Coles. Now, I don't think I am being controversial when I say that Coles was the greatest cinema architect ever. The term Picture Palace could have been invented for his designs. Several of his buildings are listed, and the Carlton here is no exception. The cinema opened in 1930. In 1922, the tomb of Tutankhamun had been discovered, precipitating a sort of Egypt mania among architects in Britain. And the Carlton is one of the many results of this. It also included an empire-style interior and incorporated a cinema organ and stage area. The first film screened was Harold Lloyd's Welcome Danger. Unfortunately, the age of the picture palace was short-lived. The Carlton is a relic of an age when a trip to the cinema was a proper night out. Its architecture allowed regular people to sample luxury for themselves. But tastes changed. TV started competing with the cinema for your evening's entertainment. One screen offering lavish entertainment for the masses just wasn't economically viable anymore. The cinema closed in 1972 following a showing of Mutiny on the Buses, and to be fair, if any film's going to make you reconsider the movie business, that would be the one. The question faced by this and many other former cinemas was, what do you do with it? Many of them found a new life as bingo halls, and this was no exception. In 2007, though, this too came to an end, in no small part due to the smoking ban. The cinema lay empty for a little over half a decade before, in 2013, being acquired by a church organisation called, appropriately, Resurrection Manifestations. Renovation and restoration were carried out, and further work was being undertaken at the start of 2020, only to be halted by the pandemic. Despite this setback, the future, for now, seems to be secure. It seems weirdly apt that a building designed to look like a temple is now a place of worship. <laughs>